Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and since becoming the prof's first in-house admissions tutor in 2021, I've won multiple awards helping students from all around the world get into the best university courses in Europe. In this video, we're going to cover the admissions process for the Bachelors in Business Administration at IE, a fast growing course that is attracting attention now from everywhere. Before we begin with my five quick tips, it's really important to note that IE is a traditional business school. Therefore, their admissions process is far more similar to that of a company than it is to a typical university. My first tip, and a common mistake that I see a lot of candidates make, is ace your CV. A lot of students in year 12 or year 13 have not yet written a CV, and they therefore are not too sure about how to do this. We at the profs have developed our own templates and a five-stage approach to make this easy for students, uh, using our professional tutors who have got real experience in the worlds of investment banking, law, consulting, and elsewhere. It's really important that you get this right, not only because it helps form IE's decision on whether to give you an interview, but also because it helps you in the personal interview later on, where the IE admissions tutor will often print out your CV and have it to hand so that they can ask you questions about it. My second quick tip is to master the express yourself part of the application. It's almost now a default decision for most candidates to write a personal statement, perhaps because this is more similar to, to the application processes at other universities. But please don't rush into this decision. You can also create a 10 slide PowerPoint presentation uh, or even record a short video. And I've found that actually some of the most personal express yourself applications are when the student uses the video or uses a PowerPoint presentation because they can show things like photos um, and, and they can really link it to their own, their own profile. Let me give you an example. I had a student a few years ago who was successfully admitted to this course at IE. He had been in a terrible, terrible motorbike accident. He used the second prompt on the IE application, which was talking about a setback in his own personal life. And we put a picture of him following his motorbike accident in hospital. And then we talked about the various different things he'd done academically, vocationally and personally to overcome this setback. That kind of PowerPoint presentation or video is far more personal than writing an admission statement. Please do bear this in mind before you, before you apply. My third quick tip is to familiarise yourself with the Kira talent process before completing it. A lot of students treat this uh, as any other part of the application and they often rush it, not taking time to prepare, to plan their answers and most importantly to practice on the platform before. Are you going to ask you three questions? One of them requires a written response where they are really testing your ability to communicate in writing in English. You will not have spell check, grammar check tools available, so please make sure that you keep the answer simple and you don't make simple English mistakes. Uh, the other two questions are going to be spoken and we have an entire question bank of, of past questions that we work through with our candidates. So again, if you need support and you want to really master this part of the application process, please do get in touch with, with our tutors and profs. My fourth tip is to prepare, prepare and prepare again for the personal interview. For most of you at the age of 17, 18, maybe 19, this is perhaps the first ever interview with a real person that you've done in your life. It's therefore really important that you familiarise yourself with the interview process. You understand that interviewing is far more than just writing scripts and rehearsing answers. It's coming across in a way that people are going to like you, people are going to understand you, and people are going to ultimately want to give you a spot at this university. At the Profs, we have an in-house team of tutors who have worked previously in careers like investment banking, which is where I worked, as well as law, accounting and consulting. And we've come up with a six uh, pronged approach to tackling these types of interview questions, each type of question with its own structure. 
we use this to develop our students' confidence and to really hone their answers so that they can ma master the IE interview. It's really important. Fifth and finally, a tip that most people overlook is you need to connect with IE before applying. As I said at the beginning, IE is a business school. They have staff not only in Madrid and Segovia, but also all around Europe. They even have staff on the ground here in London, as well as in Boston and, in, and across America. It's a really good idea before you submit your application, or even after you've submitted your application but have not yet heard back, to get in touch with them. They're often happy to meet you for a coffee chat, they're often happy to meet you over Zoom. Sometimes they'll even look at your CV or give you some quick tips themselves on how to stand out. This is good for two reasons. Firstly, it will help you to really personalize your application, tailoring it to what IE want to see. But secondly, it's also a really nice talking point in the interview. So when the interviewer asks you, well, why IE? Why do you want to study this course? You can substantiate that answer with reference to the conversations you've already had with their own team. This will really help you stand out in the application process. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this short video. I hope you found the tips useful. If you or anyone you know are thinking of applying to the Bachelor's in Business Administration or any other course like the Data and Business Analytics or Economics programs at IE, please do get in touch using one of the links on the screen now. Above all else, good luck with your application.